Euphoria. You are the one, you're my number one. Now I'm all time to leave it all behind and let go. And I tried to let you in, but we couldn't fix our broken strings. And my lonely voice goes, Ooh, ooh, ooh. Hello everyone. Today we have the very the winner of the fourth semifinal of the Melody Grand Prix, uh, Kim. How are you? How are you doing? <laughs> Hi, I'm doing great. I'm uh, back in my home and uh, just recharging for the uh, for the big finals. Salam uşağlar. Bugünleri bizimle Melody Grand Prix 2021 il dördüncü yarı finalin galibi var Kim. My Lonely Voice mağazasından galip gelmiştim. Soruştum ki ne cadır, yakışıdır ve büyük finala hazırlar. So okay, Kim. Let's move to our questions. Yeah. First of all, the first thing that I want to ask you is, uh, how did you decide to how, how did you decide to go to the Melody Grand Prix? Well, yeah, it's I think every singer uh, has a dream about Eurovision or MGP, oh. um, but it's been like a long journey because uh, I've been asked before if I want to uh, to participate, but uh, I didn't feel like I had the right song, um, but. Uh, this year, <laughs> I was uh, asked again, uh, and once again, I said I don't have the right song. I have, I have a couple of songs, but it's not like it's not a top four song. So, and I need to write it. So that's what um, they decided to do: put me in a like songwriting session, and my lonely voice was created. That, that was awesome. <laughs> so it was uh, the broadcaster who asked you. Yeah, they they asked if I if I had like if if I wanted to, or uh, and if I needed any help uh, or need a song and stuff like that. So they uh, they really want me on that stage and that nice. <laughs> That's cool. That's cool. So and uh, do you watch Eurovision itself? I I think yes. Oh yeah. And, oh yeah. And um, since the win, like uh, how long? How long did you start to? Mm, I think I always listen to uh, or watch the Eurovision because it's the it's the biggest stage for, for music in Europe and it's united us as like one part um, in like one weekend in a year Europe is united and because of music and I just love that so I've been watching Eurovision for a long time as I understand the Eurovision is quite popular in Norway and uh, that that's really cool. And which song uh, do you like most from Eurovision? Which one is like your favorite one for this time? Hmm. I've been asked that a lot uh, mm. because uh, I don't know which song, but Euphoria uh, with Lorene is like, like when she, she was she won the competition here in Baku. Ah, uh, yeah, uh, correct, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but the show was like, it was, it was mystic, it, uh, the vocals was like, and when she came to the chorus was, Euphoria! I'm like, yeah, we got a winner! <laughs> yes, that was clear, we know that, yeah, I should say. Uh, but it's uh, also, also, actually, I have uh, one song that always comes to mind, and it's really weird, is... Uh, the song by, I think it's Helena Paparazzi, Paparuzzi, uh, Papara, uh, yeah, you are the one, you're my number one. That's also yes. a good song. I like that um, too as well. Yeah. To be honest, I, I, if you asked me this question, I, I think that it will be hard for me to answer that. Yeah, so, it is. It is. Really, really hard to pick up one of the these whole, whole songs. Yeah. Okay. Uh, you said that you had a say, writing session and your song was created there. So, what what inspired you to to write uh, my lonely voice? And uh, were you inspired by something or? 
or mm -hmm. how, how did that happen? Mm, so. Well, um, the thing is that uh, I've always wanted to, to write a ballad, but I didn't know how to. So, um, but like last year, I think I listened to Ashes by Celine Dion, the song in the Deadpool 2 song. And like, let our beauty come out of ashes. That's a beautiful song. And uh, I was like, we, we need to try to create a ballad like that. Um, uh, so we just started writing, and and um, I was standing behind the the, um, the microphone, and we had some chords, and I just start singing, and I'm, yeah, just like gibberish, and then suddenly uh, a lonely voice goes. Ooh, ooh, and we both like stopped and like, there we have it. <laughs> and um, it was so, so cool to just like be in the session. And, and the thing is when I, when we started, when I like found the melody, uh, I knew exactly like in a second what I wanted to, to write about because in 2019, I, I met a guy in London and we had like the best weekend ever. We thought that we were like meant to be. Uh, and as probably many out there, you know, when you meet someone for the first time, it's just, and things fall into the right places, it's just magic. Uh, but we met again a couple of months later because I went over to London again. Uh -huh. And uh, the magic was just gone. It was something just, and I was so heartbroken because I thought I like found the one. And I think that many others out there can relate to that because when you meet someone there's some really like good emotions, you just, you're, you're laughing and everything is just great. But and when I come and came back to visit him, it's just, it was something was just off. Uh, so the feeling in the song and the emotion and the mood is is um, the same that I had when I was on the airport express train to Heathrow and I was sitting there and sobbing and crying and felt sorry for myself. Oh, so, um, that's, yeah. That's really sad to hear that. <laughs> yeah, it is sad, uh, but... Just, that's just the I can tell you that we can feel that sadness you know, when, when, when I... I can oh. say it from my heart, from for myself. Then mm. when I uh, listen to your song, I really can feel that emotion that you wanted to transfer to us. Oh, at least. thank you. Uh, yes. Uh, so I think that I forgot to translate your answers. So yeah. I quickly. <laughs> that now I just um, okay. So from Kim, MGP, I start with my next girl to read. Best, yeah, MGP channel then I like to start with Black. My name is Inde. Be, Mahni has my camping golub, so it's just all the other three of them. Mahni has it. Black. You probably just remember boy is like it. So I start with Selin Mahni and Hans. Then Euphoria did it. Then be, Helena Paris and my number. One Mahna said them and said the Mahna Lar. There in some sort of salon, I buy Kim Hans Mahna Neja Yarmush, the Hard Yazal, the Neja Yazal, the Munias Mahasane, Nain Hamlander, the Zikas and Danish, the London, the Olanda, the Rising Gurmish, the Winsan, Osea. Ahtardır bir insan olduğunu ə, düşünmüştü, hissetmişti və bir neçə ay sonra ə, yenidən Londona qaydanda ə, gördü ki, bəs artıq ə, o həmin hisslər yoxdur, yəni onu hissettiği hissləri ona qarşı hissedilmir və ə, Londondan geri qaydanda ə, poezdə oturmuşdu tək və o ə, kövrək bir vəziyyətdə ə, Bunlar hakkında düşündüğü yani sözler uh, bundan bahsedelim. 
So, okay, uh, let's move to our next question. Yesterday, the final songs from the, final, the, from the fifth semifinal of the MGP were, re were revealed. And as we found out, and as you shared on your Instagram page, you are the, uh, the songwriter one of one, one of the songs that takes yeah. part. Uh, this song is the Walking, Walking in My Sleep. So um, can you tell us a little bit about that song? How, how, did, was that song uh, as well written by you at that session? Or uh, it was like, how did you decide which song will, you will sing yourself or which one you will give to another one? So just give us some information about that. Yeah, the thing is that in the songwriting camp, we were gathered two days. Mm -hmm. uh, two uh, efficient days <laughs> because on day one uh, we wrote Walking in My Sleep. Mm -hmm. uh, so uh, it was the other songwriter, Niklas, who came up with the idea who like, you know, when you uh, walk around and you just don't, uh, well, how to explain it, it's just uh, when you're just floating around, you don't know, uh, you just go with the flow and just survive life, not live life. Uh, and you're just walking in your sleep because you just follow the path that you're supposed to do. Uh, and that's kind of uh, what walking in my sleep is, um, is all about. And, um, and it was created like something like in the same, same way I... I said that I, I really like some funky pop-ish so we can try to do something groovy. And, uh, and I have to say from the demo version to Alma, uh, Finn's uh, Walking In My Sleep version, it, that's two different songs because she like stretched it and, and the producers really worked on that song. Mm -hmm. Um, but the melody is still the same. It's um, and I like like find me walking in the sea. It's just chill. It's cool. It's uh, I like the song. Um, but when we wrote my lonely voice after lunch on day number two, uh, I knew that my lonely voice is more personal to me and and so i just i i felt that that was the right song for me but as i said to nrk who produce uh, mgp if someone if you know someone who can pull off this song i'm happy to give it away so that was why it happened actually uh, and i was so, I'm so excited about it and were there only two songs that you wrote, or is there some other th uh, song? As well? uh, it was it was actually a third, but it oh. wasn't that good. <laughs> okay. Okay. So we started on a on a third song, but uh, we didn't felt it. So so we just put it away and had lunch, and then we wrote my long voice that song and that day. Okay, okay. so um, let me translate it. Yeah. Uh, Sonra açtım ki ben MGP'nin 5. yana finalında Mahmut'un iştirak edelim. Walking in my sleep adlı Mahmut'u. Onun yazarlarından biri de Mass. İndi benimle müzakere eden kim kimdir onun yazarlarından biri. Ve sonra açtım ki ben Mahmut nece yazılmıştım. Ağzını daha çok beğenirsin nece seçtin. Ben söyledi ki Mahmut'un yani ilk növbede Walking in my sleep anısı yazılmıştım. Daha sonra My Walking in my sleep yazıldı. Ve uh, my Lonely Voice yazandan sonra onu daha çok beğendiğini hissetti, daha özne uygun hissettiğini düşündü ve ona göre o mahnını özne seçti ve diğer mahnı da söyledi ki eğer okuyacak kimse varsa bu mahnını vermeye hazırlanıyor. Sonuçta çünkü bundan da başka bir mahnı olmuştu dedi ki var idi, üçüncü mahnını da yazmaya başlamıştı ama um, beğenmedi onu ve um, genel geldi ki onu bir kırığa koyak ve bu iki mahnı üzerinde işleyecek. So, uh, okay, let's move to our next question. Yeah. Um, you won the first semi-final uh, of the MGP, and what was your first uh, impression, your first feelings uh, when, when, when they, uh, the, they announced that you are going to the final and you will compete for the name of representative of Norway? <laughs> mm. uh, uh, 
I tried to explain it to the national, like the Norwegian uh, television, that it was just, it was just like pure happiness. Uh, and I was so excited. I was so happy. I, I don't know what I felt because it was so much emotions. It was like thinking about all those years that I've been singing to like, to stay alive, to stay alive, just to keep uh, keep working on to to to get to this point. Because when you, well, I've been singing for quite a long time now, and I've been doing this professional for quite a long time. But I've been, we've always been doing like covers. I've been doing show, standing on top of tables and like come on, like doing parties. Um. So when I like won this semifinal uh, in front of Mikael Gerpe and Marianne Penta, who's um, on the Sami National Day. Uh, they do joik and pop, and they're both from the northern part of Norway. And I didn't think that I was going to win. But uh, I got this one. <laughs> oh, that, what is that? Can you show me? Uh, like oh, this. Yeah, I can. It's the it's the golden ticket. Oh, got that. It's yeah, the golden ticket. Cool. Congratulations to you. Thank you. <laughs> I, Thank I you. That's so awesome. Yeah. Um, dün bu yarım finalde biz ilk geçirdiğim hisler ve fikirler neden ibaret idi? Uh, dedi ki, biz gözlem verdim olacağımı ve uh, yani çok hisler geçirirdim uh, doğum zaman. Um, yani tabii ki uh, sevinçli ve gösterdiği o güzel şeyde uh, gol, golden ticket idi ona yani güzel uh, bir uh, finala verilmiş güzel bir de. Okay, uh, let's move to our next question and this is about your plans for now. So you won the semifinal and now you have the the great greater stage. Uh, yeah. It's about the final and you have a chance to represent your country at Eurovision. Yeah. So, what are your plans? Are you going to change something in your like staging, or is it going to be the same? And like, what what what's your plans for now? Just tell us. Yeah, uh, it's like it's a big opportunity to do something great. It's a big opportunity to to show uh, off myself as an artist in like all all of Europe if I if I want. I do, though, think it's going to be hard because I feel like one of the big underdogs this uh, some, uh, this final because you got big artists like Tix and Kainu. Kainu is huge in MGP or Eurovision. Everybody knows them. Um, but if I won, um, I would be so happy to just bring feelings and emotions to the Eurovision stage because as we all know feelings and real emotions are uh, a good thing uh, yeah. it's not that many years ago a uh, certain portuguese guy st stood on stage and poured his heart out so um i think if if i won i would be honored to represent Norway um, and I will do my absolutely best. When it comes to the performance itself, um, we will now look at, uh, at the tapes of, of the, the last show. We need to look at, okay, camera angles and how we're going to try to make people understand why I got a dancer in like a cage. and try to uh, figure out how to make uh, me and the dancer more connected because uh, the dancer is a good friend of mine and he's kind of dancing out the lyrics in the song and in parts of the song he's actually me struggling against these ropes because I'm, uh, I when I was, there, when I was experiencing this situation, I was struggling with my own feelings and, and my own thoughts, and and that what that is what the dancer gonna will represent. But I didn't think that was clear enough on my last performance. So 
Uh, we may change a little bit, but the essence will be the same. Um, and I might use the same dress because I thought it was beautiful. <laughs> uh, but I don't know. But um, yeah, yeah um, we may tweak a little bit and do something uh, a little bit bigger in the final. So, I think it's a Norwegian temple that has never been in the final. I think it's a good final. I think it's a good final. I think it's a good final. I think it's a good final. I think it's a good final. Bu səhnədə, yəni bu finalda digərlərə nisbətən biraz yeni birisi olacaq, çünki Kane, Atix kimi güclü artistlər var orada. Amma yenə də çalışacaq ki, öz hisslərini ötürsün izləyəcək və utsa, Avraviziyaya getirəm, yenə də həmin şey etməyə çalışacaq. Çünki 17-ci ilə də Səlvələşdə Broldanda, yəni sadəcə səhnələ dayanmışdı və öz hisslərini, fikirlərini izləyəcək ötürərək qalib olmağa bacarmışdı və kim də belə bir şey etməyi düşünür. Soruşdun ki, bəs səhnə performansında nəsə dəyişikliklər olacaq? Dedik ki, bəs bəzi şeyin izləyəcəyi yenidən performansı mı və bəzi şeylər bəlkə dəyişdik. Çünki mahnanın məsəcini daha aydın şəkildə ötürmək istəyir. Gördüm, bildiyimiz kimi, yəni, rəqqas var idi səhnədə və o rəqqas sanki çırpınırdı öz hissləri ilə çırpınırdı və onu daha aydın göstərmək istəyirlər səhnədə, yəni bunun üzrə işləyəcəklər. Ok, my next question is about the other songs that takes part in this competition in the MGP, I mean. So, which song do you like most except your one? And except the Vulcan in my sleep. Which song do I like the most? Oh, that's a hard question because I don't like, no. <laughs> I like parts of many of the songs, um, but I think so, actually one of that question. So if it's not you, who do you want to see as a representative of your country at Eurovision? Uh, then I would love to see Kaino uh, because I think uh, I think Kaino have a good song, but I don't think it's as good as Spirits in the Sky. But it's really good. It got all the elements. Um, but I don't know if if people in Norway will like vote them to the finals once or to the Eurovision finals once more. Uh, but um, Kaino is a good one. Um, and we'll see what Ryan Alexander would uh, do on this Friday. You never know what he, <laughs> he is, is capable of to, to perform and, and what song is like being dug up from somewhere. So, um, but if not me, I think kind of would be a, a good contestant for, uh, or representant for Norway. Okay. Soruşdun ki, bəs hansı vaxtını daha çox bəyənirsən, özün ki, saymasaq, bu MGP-də hansı vaxtını çox bəyənirsən və ya dedim ki, özün unutmasan, kimin unutmasını istəyərdim. Keynan manasını seçdi və söylədi ki, bu mağdını Spirit in the Sky kimi qədər gözəl ol, yəni gözəl mağdında, amma Spirit in the Sky qədər gözəl deyil deyə düşünür. Belə, yəni seçimi Keynan oldu yenə də. Ok, so I think that uh, that was my last question, and now I want to ask you to sing a little bit of your song of my lonely voice. Okay, yeah, this is a little bit uh, like teaser on um, on my lonely voice, and um, I just wanted you to, uh, want to remember all of you to uh, that listening or watching that you also can vote on the national uh, finals in Norway. You can make a profile on nrk.no. And you can okay. vote in the finals if you want to, and send a send sure. a vote to me. Sure. <laughs> Even if I lose my soul, I know it can be no more. Time to leave it all behind and let go. And I tried to let you in, but we couldn't fix our broken strings and my lonely. Voice goes Ooh, ooh, ooh, ooh. 
that's something like that's that. Really cool. <laughs> so I have a playlist uh, with the, with the songs that I like most from this season of, of Whole Eurovision. So when I listen to your song, to this song, I immediately immediately added. Uh, oh, to thank you. <laughs> so I wish you a huge luck. I wish you good luck. Thank you. Uh, like, just I'm looking forward for your performance in the final. So it's gonna be fun. Ah, oh, good. So to thank hear. you for having us. Uh, it was really you. fun, and uh, thank you so much. It's uh, it's uh, so fun to be part of something that you just unite whole Europe, and I'm going to talk with people from all over the world today. It's uh, it's amazing. They say okay. <laughs> Bye. Bye.